Hi everyone, in this video today I'm going to be showing you how to take a fraction like this and simplify it into a fraction like this. I'm going to be sharing with you the method that I teach my students that will allow you to simplify any fraction first time, every time. So before I share with you the method for simplifying any fraction, we're first going to recap what exactly does simplifying a fraction mean. As you can see here on the board, I've got the fraction 4 twelfths and we're going to try and simplify that. Now, when we're simplifying, what we're trying to do is we're trying to change the denominator into the lowest possible number that we can. OK, now to help me explain this, I've got some fraction tiles in front of me. So that is what one twelfth looks like. And I've got four of them here on the board. And this is what a whole one looks like. So here we have the four twelfths. Now, what I can do is I can simplify four twelfths into two bigger pieces as six. So four twelfths is the same as two sixths. And for the smart mathematicians out there, you'll notice that two is half of four and six is half of twelve. Now, I can actually go a step further here, and this is quite often the case with a lot of fractions when you're simplifying them. I can actually also represent four twelfths as one third. One piece, one larger piece. Okay. Now, in this instance, one third is the lowest possible form that we can simplify four twelfths to be. And that's a real key word, lowest form. So simplifying fractions is really easy when you have the benefit of using fraction tiles. But what I'm going to show you now is a way that you can do it using just a pen and a piece of paper. So in this example, we're going to take a look at the fraction 12 sixteenths and we're going to simplify that into its lowest form. Now, all you need to do is you take the numerator, which is 12. Put a circle around it, take the denominator, which is 16. Put a circle around it and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to list all of the factors of 12. So 12 is in the 1 times table, 12 is in the 2 times table, 12 is in the 3 times table, 12 is in the 4 times table, 12 is in the 6 times table, 12 is in the 12 times table. And I'm going to do the same for the, the denominator, 16 now. So 16 is in the 1 times table. It's in the two times table, it's in the four times table, it's in the eight times table, and it's in the 16 times table. Now, once you are confident that you have found all of the factors, what you're then going to look for is something called the HCF, the highest common factor. What that means is, the highest number that is in both of your lists, the highest factor that is in both of your lists. So it has one and one, it has two and two, it has four and four, and four is the highest number that is in both of these lists. So four is the highest common factor between 12 and 16. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna take that four, the highest common factor, and we're going to divide the numerator and the denominator by 4. So 12 divided by 4, that is 3. 16 divided by 4 is 4. And this gives us our final simplified fraction. So we have 12 sixteenths is the same as 3 quarters. And the great thing about this is, if you have found the highest common factor, you have found the lowest possible form of 12 sixteenths. So for this fraction, the numbers are slightly bigger. We have the fraction here, 24 thirty-sixths. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to try and simplify this fraction into its lowest possible form. Now, just as before, I take the numerator and I put a circle around it. I take the denominator and I put a circle around it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find all the factors for 24 
and all the factors for 36. 24 is in the 1 times table, it's in the 2 times table, it's in the 3 times table, it's in the 4, it's in the 6 times table, it's in the 8 times table, it's in the 12 times table, it's in the 24 times table. So 24 is in a lot of times tables. 36 is in the 1 times table, it's in the 2, it's in the 3, it's in the 4, it's in the 6, it's in the... 12, it's in the 18, and it's in the 36 times table. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the highest number in both of these lists. So the highest number that is in both of these lists is 12. 12 is the highest number in both of these lists. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide 24 by 12. And I'm going to divide 36 by 12. So 24 divided by 12, that gives me 2. And 36 divided by 12 is 3. So 24 36 simplified to its lowest form is the same as 2 thirds. Now let's do one final example and this time we're going to look at what should we do if there is no highest common factor or if there's no common factor at all. Here we have the fraction 4 27th. This is going to be our last example in this video. Now, as I did in the previous two examples, I'm going to take the numerator, which is 4. I'm going to take the denominator, which is 27. I'm going to find all the factors of 4, which is 1. 2 and 4. For 27, 27 is in the 1 times table, it's in the 3 times table, it's in the 9 times table, and it's in the 27 times table. Now, as you can see, the only common factor between these two numbers is number 1. Number 1. Okay, none of the other factors are common none of the other factors are the same. So if that happens, you do nothing. You already have the lowest form of that fraction. It cannot be simplified any further. Okay, so if the common factor is 1, then you already have the lowest common form.